Hello. I feel like this is better. I know it's dark, but this feels more like a one to one conversation. And that's what I kind of need to have with you. Whoever you are, brother or sister, you are unique. You are a child of God. You are special. And all of us souls are equal in the eyes of God. Though we have played different parts. The part I'm playing is of the seventh Christ. Each Christ has had a purpose, and the last three have had a full-on connection with God, including me. I have made mistakes, and this video is to do with one of them, which is believing that Nibiru planet is about to come, you know, into our solar system. This tainted my vision of the future, the video I made last year, to include this. This sort of created the errors in it. There were truths in it, things which did come true. And we are, in fact, like I said in the previous video, past the worst. And our souls are becoming more loving, more and more, um, as they have been for the last 2,000 years, becoming more loving. And the only way is up and that's all good. But. I am the one on this planet who possesses more truth than anyone currently. And truth is the foundation of love. And love is the way. Love is the answer. So the more truth you get, the more the more loving you become. So, and any errors you have about God or you or this existence will prevent you from raising your loving levels. You will hit a ceiling and a ceiling of fear, which I can remember feeling before I started to link together the core truths, which those few core truths came from A.J. Miller. A.J. Miller was the fifth Christ, Yeshua. A lot of his purpose was work in the spirit world. And he tells all about it. You can check it out on if, or if you already have. It's good if you already have. But he reincarnated into, an, into a, a normal body and is playing a different part. So when Christ said he was going to return, that was God speaking. You see, I've found myself sometimes speaking what God says. If I'm meditating, suddenly my, my mind is saying something in a really it's feeling something and it becomes an understanding but it's it's like God said it it said um, I am the light that and that was God saying it the 
that point of meditation was very interesting, but I'm not going to go into that. That was back in April. So, I know I can be long-winded in my videos, so, you know, I haven't been perfect. But I think speaking to you one-to-one -one helps. Helps me stay somewhere. But you're a camera, so it's, it is a bit weird speaking to a camera, you know, it's like I'm speaking to myself. So, it's always a bit weird. But I think, well, if it's possible, it might be one route, YouTube, it might be via my soul that everything happens, but hey, why not? put it on a camera. I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, still not many people watch the videos, so especially not the long ones. But the heart doesn't lie. So I'm I'm just sharing my feeling that I'm the only one you can get the full truth from. I mean the path to God is zigzag. So you're getting a bit of truth here, a bit of truth there, you know, you're using your own discernment. But I just wanted to make that abundantly clear. Abundantly clear. I, yeah, I want to do a lot of things. Um, so... <clears throat> I will make more videos and I will be continuing to comment and I appreciate challenges. Challenge is good. So, but, you know, think about it, feel about it. If this is true and I feel it is in my heart, then perhaps you need me. You need me to let you know what God says. If I'm fully in contact with God and I'm feeling God, Mother and Father God, Mother in my right temple right now, Father in my left temple, that's the first and quickest, easiest way I can feel God. If I want to expand on that, all I have to do is kind of say, how are you, God? And feel, and I start to feel God, well, God is always calm and superb. But I can start to feel Mother God here around me, all enveloping me, Father God on this side, to receive their love into my heart, and kind of the milk, in a sense, the first way was the through the top of the head of the crown from Father God down into the heart and from Mother God straight up from beneath you know basically up where your bottom hole is right straight up into your heart and then sometimes I, I get to a point where I'm basically in front of God you know, the feelings suddenly become very much more strong. You can This can happen after you've been spinning. You feel like you start to go spinning, so you allow the spinning, just allow it, you see. And sometimes it comes after that, that I feel I'm there in the presence of God, and it's gradually got less and less um, painful to be there, if you like. And... Um, yeah, because initially it just felt so big, how could I, you know, I was, in a sense, beginning to fear, how could I be in the presence of God? But then as I've done it more often, I guess the fear has dissipated. In fact, I feel like, well, I can be here. You know, God would want me to be. So... <clears throat> That's good, right? And when I'm doing this, I just think, God, you know, I am the luckiest guy alive. 
that I haven't been able, that I'm able to do this. And so that I've probably been a bit reluctant to kind of sit here and say that because it feels like, you know, gloating in a sense. But so okay, at the moment I consider that I'm might be in a sense some way first. First in a sense having a more loving soul in some ways. Um or or at the or at the spear point of some movement or uh But, you know, there is that the first will be last and the last will be first. And I kind of believe that. Because I could see that, you know, whereas maybe my whole existence has been about this race to be at the front. Um, what with being Enoch. And then being taken back with God and then coming now. You know, that has been something in my personality, this sort of speed and haste. And, you know, and I, I've come to the realisation now that, you know, competition is not the way. Cooperation is the way on every level. And I've kind of felt the fact that we're all in this together. You know, I can't go shooting off up high. Um, and leave everybody else behind that 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 couldn't happen sort of it's not in the way of love and we're all you know kind of we're all going to be together and um <clears throat> but yeah so I'll probably learn less about love from now till the next however many thousands of years than those who have been at the, in, in a very low soul condition and as they come up the changes will be radical for them and they'll they'll learn a lot about love in that way and they'll accelerate and the lowest of them will be first. So it's no kind of big deal where you are in it in the in that sort of progress, if you like. Because it's all gonna be evened out, you know, and we're eternal beings. We're eternal beings in our absolute infancy. Talk about in the morning of your life, we are really really in the beginning so and I don't fully understand yet how souls get created I mean mother and father God created all our souls but as mother father God as they got a mother father God uh, you know and them and them and yes I think yes probably but how many <laughs> so but some of those questions can be left for a little longer. We just need to know more truth. There's so much truth to know. When I did that truth, just because earlier I had this picture in my mind of, imagine a foundation, but it's a foundation of light on a landscape. So the first core truth you get, and that has to be about God and yourself and the universe. You know, what it, what it all is. So that first core truth that God is a being, is a mother and father, and we're made in God's image, we are an eternal soul, all feeling, just like God, but God is like a super soul. So that's one truth. Next, well that was two truths, wasn't it? So, and, and the universe is just, this kind of a dimension where we could have this sort of physical life and then a spiritual life and it was sort of like a, a 
you know, a way to experience emotion and, and, and kind of try and understand it. So, so there's, there's a few truths. So there's this light, foundation of light. And on that, you're, that's how loving you'll be is, you know, how much of that you have. And you can create and build on that if you like. And, and the more truth you get sort of opens, makes it larger like this. So that's how I was thinking of it. You can imagine things. You close your eyes and you might imagine things, right? You know, that's good. That's a powerful tool. You know, don't... Your imagination, they say, you, you know, all these things, your imagination can play tricks on you. It's because you, it will. Your imagination will bring up things that you need to deal with in your soul. And the things that need to be sorted out, that your soul really wants you to sort these things out. Your soul knows its condition. Are you prepared to feel it? You have to be. If you want to, if you want to progress, it's the you're going to <laughs> anyway. I mean, it's God's plan. It's going to happen. So anyway, so truth. That's basically the first lesson. So get the truth, and you can, you know, you get the truth. I've. You're going to have to watch some of my long, <laughs> boring videos, but. Go and watch the ones with the fewest views. It's really interesting. That's concise, succinct information. Well, I think it is. <laughs> but people are much more inclined towards the negative. And, you know, I did a an AJ Miller rant video, and I did one. You know, I wasn't meaning to do this, is just the way it came out. So I did an anti-AJ Miller video, and I did a pro-AJ Miller video. And the anti one has had much more views. I mean, that could say something about AJ Miller, but... But I, th I do think there is a tendency... You know, I think I should... And that was it, yeah, I made a, like a, you know, it was, uh, there was just a bit of negativity in a comment. I mean, and I got loads of likes and replies from it. I mean, it was, it was just calling someone out, you know, what they were trying to sell their book. And they were talking about Nibiru. But because it had that sort of negativity about it, it's caught on a lot of, enthusiasm so there is still more of that about and you know what people choose to watch on YouTube is interesting but I know things are improving I know things will get better So you've had the quick, a lot of my videos are like this, there's been some sort of quite intense talking and then I'll spark something up and then it slows down. But, you know, you have, well, look, the truth is in my videos, it's all there. I've basically recorded basically every every realization i've come to nearly over the last 18 months and i've got to say my truth covers everything it answers all the questions now aj miller would claim that his does but he won't let me challenge him he won't connect with me at all 
it's you know if you want AJ Miller to answer a question, it's true you've got to give him some money. I so I've done that twice. I gave him ten quid and got a reply that I was heavily influenced by spirits from Lena. And then but I'd been sending him a couple of more emails, see if he'd reply or even read them. And I thought maybe they don't even read them. Maybe it's like 10 quid to read an email or something. So I thought, well, there's about five he hasn't answered. So I sent 50 quid, $84, to general expenses. And I got a reply from Lena saying I'm heavily influenced by spirits. <laughs> Again. And um, I got one from Mary saying thank you. So anyway, he won't connect with me. I've. He won't connect with me because, you know, it's, it's going to bring out something he's in denial of. So that's the truth. So I'm just checking my heart, because my heart doesn't lie. So I'm probably going to play my new song at the end of this video. Which I think I have the lyrics memorised and um, there's a new bit in it. I think it's quite good now. <laughs> Might sound weird me giving it to you personally. <clears throat> So how are you anyway? How are you, camera? Have you got enough battery left? I suppose this video has probably been annoying. It's dark the whole time. Look, Christ who smokes. <laughs> and yes, there's cannabis in this. And so what? When you feel the soul, you've got to give up everything that is earthly. Anything that is earthly. You eat some food, it's proper difficult to feel the soul when you've got food that's actively being digested. It's, it's definitely a big gets in the way. Because that's your whole emotions area and stuff, so just worse um, smoking cannabis makes you more puts you in a more loving state and to be quite honest in this society with the majority of people believing what they do about the world and existence and God it's not very pleasant most of the time around the majority. It's not. So, to get above all that, you know, cannabis is, is quite handy. So, it's taught provided by God because it's like that. And the tobacco, well, something else found out, I might have mentioned this, sorry, but tobacco in Shakespeare's time, people were dying of plague, left, right and centre, all the time. Tobacco basically eradicated plague. So you could see it as an anti-pollutant. And it happened to get imported into the Western culture, Britain, um, in that sort of time, 1500 and shit, sorry. Um, you know, because that's when pollution was getting worse. And we've still got pollution. I mean, I came in on the plane from Norway and there's massive smog. Disgusting. So I might have mentioned that before, sorry. I don't, I really try not to repeat myself. You know, if you're a real person, you could just hold up how many fingers, you know, how many times you've heard this before. 
that's what I do. Well, I, that's what I had to do, and it was someone who would just repeat themselves a lot. We could just say, heard it. Heard that. So what I'm saying to you is, it's my feeling that I'm the way. And if you want to get there, you want to listen to me. <laughs> Give me some feedback. I might be wasting my time making YouTube videos. I don't want to waste much of my time. So, I don't know. I mean, if you've got ears to hear, hear. I like um, anyone wants to do a like challenge me or you know want to know more or you know just ask questions do a uh, Skype chat and I could film it that'd be cool I'd be up for that So Nibiru is probably bullshit. And this is man-made climate change. And they've created this conspiracy. Allowing some of the information from the past to come out, you know, absolutely making definite that JFK was conspiracy. The moon landing. Authenticating their latest conspiracy. <sighs> I definitely was sucked into that. I mean, still now I'm like, oh, it must be real. But what do I feel? Because the heart doesn't lie. I feel. Things are getting better, man. We've been through shitty times. I don't think the last seven years have been that great at all. It's been arduous, but you know, more for Syrians, and you know, they've had it much worse, but on the soul level. We're all feeling that because we're all brothers and sisters. See, we need to know these things. And we need to know these things for sure. So that's why I think we kind of need, we do need a Messiah figure. But the power of belief is essential too. You have to believe it. You have to feel it. Can you feel it? <laughs> okay. So let me know. If you've even watched this far. If you don't skip bits. You don't turn off, you don't hear things. That's spirit influence. Feel spirit influence on the bridge of your nose. Well, that's where I felt it. They really come at you from the front. They can attack you like that. If you have open, 
openings that allow them to attack you. And those openings are caused by errors in the truth, which have then gone on to cause errors in actions. So the belief system is so important. It's the beginning. Right. <clears throat> Hang around because I'm going to sing a song. teacher and our parent. So, God loves you. God forgives you instantly for anything you've done. You have to forgive yourself, which means you have to feel the pain you caused yourself. To repent what you've done to others, you have to feel the pain you caused them and well, it's more like a. You like you see the wrong of what you did, and you feel it, and you. I did that. What I did that first. You see, what I've done more recently is the forgiving of what others have done to you, and I realised how I'd sort of denied that someone had hurt me, denied that someone had caused me like hurt to my soul 
and I realised, you know, and I knew actually, you know, a lot from AJ Miller, but, you know, to, in order to forgive them, I had to feel the harm they'd done to me on a soul level. And then you can forgive them. So all that needs to be done. It's just feeling. It will just come up. Your soul knows exactly what you need to do next. You don't have to intellectualise it. You do have to get yourself in a mode of feeling. And you need those core truths. Sorry, my mouth's really dry. It's essential. Absolutely essential. Okay. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye.